Hello everyone, watch this review here with a look at Frankenstein's monster, who for the purposes of simplicity and because the box lists him as such, will be merely referred to as Frankenstein for the duration of this review. From Toy Island's Universal Studios Monsters line. Now this is of course series one, there was never a series two, but they call it the Frankenstein series because it has a Frankenstein build-a-figure. And it's fitting that Frankenstein himself comes with the torso piece to, um, well, the bigger version of himself. Uh, the back of the box is the same as the rest, but I just want to point out that, I guess due to the size of the piece in there, he actually has double the size of a normal box. Which is pretty neat. Hold on a second and I'll get him out of pack. As previously mentioned, Frankenstein comes with the torso to, well, himself, except for bigger. I'm actually kind of wondering which character gets the head, but I think we'll figure that out later. You know, cause there are five figures in the wave, and eh, whatever. He also comes with um, this stand, which includes a little card for a, a sort of display. Unfortunately, it's a really tiny display, so, you know, it's not even above the character. And when it's applied in place, it blocks out most of what's there. Though, of course, if you wish, you could adjust it so the Frankenstein is more visible, or the face is more visible. Although I may or may not have him displayed with this. I mean, he does stand fairly well on his own and everything. I do like the explicit terror, as opposed to the ambiguous terror. Now, uh, the paint apps just really aren't as strong on this guy as they were the creature from the Black Lagoon. In fact, I have a paint error right up there. That's probably not going to be... Well, it's in both ears, so... You may have a paint error if you do pick this figure up. Now, Frankenstein's really one of those characters that there are so many figures out there, you really do have a choice of interpretations, and because the character is technically in the common domain, because, you know, it's part of a written work produced, I think in the 1800s? I can't remember. I mean, you know, other companies can do it. Um, this is supposed to more resemble the Universal monsters version, so on some levels it kind of does, although I've heard criticisms that the face isn't quite right, but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, what does kind of bother me is the fact that this is basically all just flat paints, and given the work that we saw in the creature, well, just a second. I mean, it's kind of disappointing that they didn't kind of go all out with the paint a little bit more and just added some different tones or shading or whatever. Uh, the other sort of interesting thing is just looking at the torso versus him. It looks like it's the exact same design, so maybe they just took a two-up of this character and then just gutted it for parts or whatever and then decided to make that into a Build-A-Figure, which actually is a sort of interesting way of going about it. Especially if you were doing, like, say, a character who can grow, and then including the normal size version in a way of the larger size. It's also an interesting look at the how the joints might actually be working, like this might be how they handle the hips for this line. I'm getting sort of off-tangent, though. Um, I'm not so much digging the complexion on the character, Although, I mean, it's kind of like the stuff that you see for, like, the Halloween decorations aimed more at kids. Uh, the original film was, of course, in black and white, but since then we have had different color versions. In addition to various adapt read adaptations, including the Hammer films and so forth. Um, because I don't own a sort of normal Frankenstein, you know, this definitely will kind of be taking that spot in my collection. It's not a character I've always really been interested in, but, you know, it's a kind of iconic design and everything. I also have a bizarre paint scrape here. 
wonder if like the thumb rubbed off or something. And I mean, he's got the articulation, you know, the detail, I guess is okay. I just wanted a little bit more than this, because they did offer quite a bit more on the creature here. Especially because they didn't even bother painting in the bolts, it looks like. It's mostly green. Not that the bolts are entirely visible, and I can always just go back and fix it if it bothers me that much. But uh, in terms of articulation, quick run through here. You have rotation at the head, because it goes right into the shirt, it's very well concealed. Ball joints, or ball and sockets, or universal joints, or whatever you may call them at the shoulders. Again, because of the shirt here, pretty well concealed. Pin joint here at the elbow. Oh look, you can see where he's cut from the mold. And then, um, rather than put the articulation at the wrist, they have opted to do more of the forearm, so it fits in the sleeve, which again is a good choice because it hides the point. Um, the bowl at the hips here are mostly concealed by his jacket. Unfortunately, the jacket renders the waist joint virtually useless. You can't really get much movement from it. Then, of course, you do have the rotation here at the upper thigh. Again, pretty well concealed. Single joint here at the knee. And then at the ankle, you have the forward back, which I haven't really messed with a lot. Um, all in all, I mean, it's an okay iteration of the character. Um, it definitely does not have the level of detail that you would see with, say, a NECA figure or... I guess basically anybody else who has done a figure. And of course there are figures available which, you know, have that level of detail from the aforementioned lines. I believe we also saw a Marvel Legends version of Frankenstein at some point, which will have better articulation. So I mean really he's kind of an average figure, but because he comes with a build a figure piece, he kind of is an essential pickup for this wave. And, you know, I mean, he's not a bad figure on his own. It's just that there are better options available. So yeah, this has been a look at the Toy Island Frankenstein. He's okay. Until next time, folks.